Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk, and so it's October, and the leaves are starting to turn colors here. And if you look farther north, they've gone farther around uh, in terms of turning colors. But one of the coolest things about fall, autumn, is that the weather's getting cooler. It's not so hot and humid, but we're not into winter yet. But there are also some bad things about October. There are some bad things about fall. And the bad thing can be described by two words. Pumpkin spice. So I hate pumpkin spice. I hate pumpkin spice almost as much as I hate Def Leppard's album Hysteria. And so maybe I'll power chug my pumpkin spice. Or maybe I hate pumpkin spice. There's a lot of things that we hate besides pumpkin spice and there's a lot of musicians who like to talk about the things they hate in some of their music and so let's get into today is all going to be about music that's about hate and so I was doing a discog search and I found a couple songs about pumpkin spice that I don't own they're very obscure they both have rather rude song titles so oh, well, I poured mine out so um, but let's talk about some music that actually have uh, where there's some hate involved. So if we go all the way back to the early 1950s, uh, 1952 on OK Records, the four lads, they may hate themselves. They may hate my, I may hate myself in the morning. Yeah, I, I had a hard time saying that. Um, and then, of course, a lot of this is going to be on CD this time. Sorry if you hate CDs. So The Replacements' first album, Sorry Ma Forgot to Take Out the Trash from 1981, has a hate song on it. It's called, it's song number nine, I Hate Music. Um, the Lemonheads' first album was called Hate Your Friends. Yeah. And then The Violent Femmes, They Hate the TV. And so th this I Hate the TV song appeared on this comp. It was previously unreleased. It's like track number 12 on that particular comp. And then maybe I can lose some of my recent subscribers. Dave Lippman, I Hate Walmart. Blind bot because he hates Walmart. And so it's kind of a political comedian type. Um... Nina Gordon, uh, when Veruca Salt broke up, uh, she did a so some solo albums. This was from the year 2000, Tonight and the Rest of My Life. And what does Nina hate? Nina Hates Your Way, song number 12. A lot of the hate songs they put towards the end of the album. Uh, another one that did that was Alice in Chains, so Dirt. Uh, you can see I have the recent reissue. First song on side four is Hate the Feel. Throbbing Gristle. So if you get a taste of Throbbing Gristle, lucky song number seven, We Hate You, Little Girls. Um, the Freeze. So The Freeze was a, a Canadian punk band that originally came out um, they might be Canadian, I'm not sure. This is on this is on Schizophrenic Records out of Hamilton, Canada. And so the flip side was called uh, I Hate Tourists. This was a reissue uh, from the song originally in 1980. They got all their punky names. I Hate Tourists. And of course, if you were like me and you grew up in a tourist uh, town, this uh, would be a song title that would ring true to you. So the Freeze, they hate tourists. And then Cat Power in the year 2006 on Matador Records, her album The Greatest. Again, a penultimate song 
hate. So I think this is a general hate song, not specific to anybody in general. Um, Zhao Zhao on their 2010 record on Kill Rock Stars, they were a little bit more specific. Dear God, I hate myself. Don't feel that way, Jamie. Wilco. What could Wilco possibly hate? Uh, so, Wilco and this 2007 album, Sky Blue Sky. Uh, what were they hating? They were hating it here. So, about the middle of the album. Um, and then a, a local to me punk band from Paducah. Uh, kind of a pop punk band, Teenage Rehab, Abuse Your Solution. So the songs aren't necessarily about hate. We've got Southside Peasant, Son of a Son, Put on Hold, Goodbye Mr. Watson. But it's on, well, in the left-hand corner, EC Jailhouse Records. In the upper right-hand corner, it's on I Hate Punk Rock Records. So I guess they hate punk rock. And then from Australia, we have the Ozmutians. They were the band of the future back around 2016. Second song, I Hate You. Then we have New Orleans Sludge Doom Masters, I Hate God. That'll lose me a couple of subscribers right there. And then finally, let's end it with a couple where there's, uh, it's not all about hate. There could be some love and there could be some hate. So there's Liz Fair. Um, if you're a Liz Fair fan, you have kind of a love-hate relationship between some of her better material and some of her more embarrassing material, like her self-titled album. And there was a song, song number 10 on this record, was called Love Hate. So we love some of it, we hate some of it. And we'll leave you with Leonard Cohen's Songs of Love and Hate. And you can see I have the RSD Black Friday version. And of course, Love and Hate very much describes Record Store Day.